And this is just a quick update on the African Nightcrawler um, CFT. Um, as you can see, I'm still struggling to get it up to um, 16 inches even because it does um, slowly self-harvest underneath as I've described in the videos. Um, it's feeding day, well it was feeding day on the weekend. Um, it's the uh, end of April. Um, you can see uh, there's quite a lot of large, um, even almost bait size um, African night crawlers. I've just disturbed them before. Should have started taking the video before I disturbed them, shouldn't I? And these bananas I only just put in there yesterday or last night, late even. Um, there's um, quite a few large worms in here munching away quite happily. Um, some of the uh, African night crawler breeding trays have been dropping back into here, dropping the cocoons back into here um, as well as uh, putting them in the wedge. So um, for some reason that end there is always a little bit lower. Um, I try and build it up and it, it falls in again. Um, it's uh, just really hard to um, fill uh, a CFT um, to, to, to get it um, up to the full operating level, uh, especially when the, the thing um, self-harvests slowly over time as well. I'm not going to get down on my knees and uh, take a video underneath. Sorry, guys, I'm too sore from uh, mowing this morning to, to crawl in under there. Um, I just wanted to um, take a quick update video um, to uh, put with the um, the beast CFT plans that I've got there available now. If you go to my website, um, you'll find the um, links um, to the uh, plans. Um, At the moment, um, I'm basically, it's a little bit of produce in this at, um, at the moment. There's some, um, uh, my wife got a box of um, cucumbers off of one of the local fruit and veggie shops um, late last week. And, uh, and as I showed you, I've put some, a few uh, bananas in there last night that I got from someone that were, that were really well brown. Um, but my normal feeding process with uh, this CFT has been, um, I'll feed a... Uh, about an inch of um, uh, moistened um, shredded cardboard um, in first and then I'll um, feed um, uh, grass clippings slash um, leaves that are really well aged and, and have started to break down um, not composted uh, go and watch my videos and I, I describe what the um, uh, what I mean by well aged um, but I mean, I, I just basically mean throw it in a pile after you finish the mowing and uh, ignore it for four to six weeks. Um, and uh, most of the um, uh, heat goes out of it and then you can use it in um, small amounts in, in small farms. I would never cover the top of the um, a small plastic farm in a couple inches of um, grass clippings no matter how old they are. But in a large bin um, like this and with the... Um, it's, it's got uh, 12 inches of um, stable vermicompost underneath the surface, so if it's a little bit hot on the surface for this one, um, the worms can get away from it. Um, but that'll be my process. I've got to feed uh, feed the thing now. That's why I wanted to take a quick video before I fed, because um, uh, it takes the worms about a week to um, work their way back up to the surface and, and uh, come to the surface and start um, sitting on top again. Um, So there you go, there's a, a bit of an update. I know I haven't been um, doing a lot of updates on uh, YouTube, sorry for you guys, but I've um, uh, been so busy with um, uh, getting the plans for the BCFT um, uh, out of my head so I can work on other projects and uh, no sooner do I finish one project than I've got uh, a couple others in my head to, um, to work out. I'm just about to um, publish a... Uh, uh, free slash donation based um, set of plans for building the um, wooden stand for the worm in Megas um, and uh, and then this weekend I've also got to um, uh, put the uh, hoop house up for the um, over the over the wedge system uh, if you don't know what I mean by the wedge system again there's um, uh, there's written explanations on my website but um, here on YouTube there's also 
um, videos um, explaining the um, theory behind the wedge and showing the um, setup of the wedge and you can have a look at look for that on my channel um, do me a favor if you haven't already if you've got a YouTube account uh, or just a Google account type of thing um, please subscribe to my um, channel I'm trying to get over um, over the thousand um, subscribers as a as a bit of a personal goal um, so anyway that's the update on the uh, beast um, African nightcrawler flow through um, just a tip uh, just be careful don't follow what I'm doing we won't know for probably at least another 12 months if um, if the design that I've used for this um, CFT actually will work for African nightcrawlers um, I got a lot of negativity and doubt from people when I first set the thing up um, that uh, it just couldn't be done everyone reckoned it couldn't be done but no one could actually quote me anyone that had tried it um, so with a bit of encouragement from uh, my wife Jeanette I um, thought well I'll, um, I'll, I'll give it a go and see how it goes at the moment I'm quite happy with it because as I say it, it slowly it, do, it doesn't completely self harvest as people warn me it might it, it just slowly harvests itself over time so there's always lovely um, uh, vermicompost in the, in the bottom chamber of it ready to go um, if, uh, if I can prove uh, long term that this design works uh, it may be the first um, completely self-harvesting um, flow through in existence that people don't have to have a breaker bar or um, run a rake between the um, uh, the harvesting bars to um, uh, to harvest um, I'd be quite um, happy if that uh, turned out to be the case um, anyway thanks so much for watching the video guys and uh, please um, subscribe if you haven't already thanks guys